Hello everyone, this is a short video of laparoscopic umbilical hernia mesh repair by IPOM technique. I am Dr. Suresh Kumar Reddy, consultant surgical gastroenterologist and advanced laparoscopic surgeon from Ashwini Hospital, Karnul. So This is the umbilical hernia. We use lateral ports, one 10mm and two 5mm ports. We can see the momentum herniating into the umbilical hernia. As this is a long-standing case, we can expect a lot of adhesions between the momentum and the sac. By giving constant traction with the left hand and slowly releasing the adhesions, the content will slowly come out from the hernia sac. We can use energy sources like bipolar, like in this case, or we can use harmonic or ligature for releasing the adhesions or hook, monopolar hook also. Now you can see the contents are slowly getting reduced and some amount of seroma water is also coming out because this is a long standing hernia. Now the momentum is divided there and the remaining momentum which is there in the sac is also slowly pulled out. We should make sure we should not leave any content in the sac or else in the post-operative period seroma formation will occur. The fat and falciform ligament are released from the parietal wall by using monopolar hook. This step helps in proper approximation and integration of the mesh to the parietal wall. You can observe a thick sac in this case because of long-standing nature of the hernia. Better to remove this kind of thick sacs because if we keep them, there are high chances of post-operative seroma formation. So, by giving constant traction with the left hand and slowly releasing the sac adhesions by using monopolar hook from the right hand port, slowly the sac is pulled out from the hernia. At this point of time, there are high chances of injury to the skin because of excessive traction. We should be cautious about that not to injure the skin. Now slowly the sac is coming out and you can see the sac is completely excised. Now the defect is closed with non-absorbable sutures. So in this case we used 1-O-proline. We can use barbed sutures or loop nylon also for this purpose. Better to close the defect instead of leaving it. This will help in decreasing post-operative seroma formation and the recurrence rates also will be less compared to non-closure of the defect. The suture brought outside and the knot tied in the subcutaneous area. Now we are 12 into 12 centimeter dual layer round mesh placed inside the abdomen and it is fixed by using transfacial sutures both right side and left side. Now you can see how we tie the transfacial sutures outside the knot will sit in the subcutaneous plane we can fix the mesh by using either tackers or intracorporeal sutures in this case we are showing both methods so this is suturing way so we used 20 proline down body the suturing even though it takes little bit time but it saves uh, some amount of money 
to we can avoid attackers and this is also secure also so now this is uh, attackers way we are doing so we can use absorbable or non absorbable attackers so obviously attackers uh, the, it is faster than suturing so we can do either way which are comfortable to the surgeon Our mesh is fixed. With this, conclude the surgery.